Shout Factory TV, changing the channel. It's May 21st, 2013, and this is your weekly shout out. Hey everybody, my name is Brian Ward and I want to welcome you to your second weekly shout out. Unless of course this is only your first weekly shout out, in which case, where have you been? You know what? It doesn't even matter. What does matter is that you're here. And for the next few minutes, we're going to keep you entertained with a look at the DVDs and Blu-rays coming out from Shout Factory today. But up first, we're going to visit our friends over at the Nerdist News and ask Editor-in-Chief Brian Walton what it takes to make a DVD reviewer happy. Let's take a look. We're here in Santa Monica, California at Nerdist HQ with Nerdist News Editor-in-Chief Brian Walton. Hi. Brian. Uh, I'm a guy who uh, produces DVDs and Blu-rays. Yes. You're a guy who assigns reviewers DVDs and Blu-rays to review. Yes, and I consume them myself. What can a guy with a job like mine do to make a guy with a job like yours happy? Give me everything. As everything starts shifting online, I think the only thing that's really going to keep Blu-rays going is the fact that, look at this wealth of material, I think Blu-ray should be closer to an archive of the making of the film rather yeah. than just a Blu-ray. And what you can do with a disc, the amount of special features, you can really set the tone for why this movie mattered at the time it was made. You can't do that if you just put it online. Yeah. You can't contextualize the film. Ultimately, uh, what, I, what I like that I'm seeing, especially Shout Factory, you guys made a mini biography for Mel Brooks. Instead of writing a book, you guys made the Mel Brooks box set that is just his autobiography in film and how he got there. And it's just an amazing set. Thank you, sir. Appreciate no it. It's Tuesday, and that means brand new DVDs and Blu-rays are hitting the shelves right this second. And as a company that can appreciate the use of a good exclamation point, Shout Factory is proud to present The Aquabats, Super Show Season 1. In addition to all 13 hilarious adventures of your favorite superhero rock stars, you also get the original unaired pilot, six brand new audio commentaries recorded by the Aquabats themselves, and a particularly wacky look behind the scenes. He's a man notorious for avoiding documentary profiles, going so far as issuing unofficial gag orders to his friends. Well, American Masters has finally been granted access to the life and career of the legendary Mel Brooks. The result is Make a Noise, a documentary that features brand new interviews with the man himself, as well as those closest to him, and a look inside Mel Brooks's personal film vaults. It's the follow-up to director Albert Pune's critically acclaimed sci-fi juggernaut, Cyborg, and it finally hit stunning high-definition Blu-ray today. That's right, 1990's Captain America. It's a story about a soldier out of time, waking up in the 1990s with a newfound obsession for slap bracelets and stonewashed jeans. Okay, fine, he fights the Red Skull, but the real selling point here are brand new interviews with director Albert Pune and star Matt Salinger. Come on, everybody, let's gather around the campfire. To die. Seriously, at what point in time are we going to band together as a society and decide that going to camp might be the worst idea in the history of ideas? This time we've got ourselves a group of pranksters who decide to pick on the local camp caretaker, Cropsy, and he gets back at them the only way he knows how, by using his hedge clippers to create grossly inaccurate and embarrassing topiary sculptures of each of them. I'm sorry, but what, 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 he, he murders them? Oh, that's, that's much worse. Also from Shout Factory this week, the second volume of the hit animated series Monsuno. The Pound Puppies find themselves in more trouble with Mission Adoption, the classic Japanese animated feature series Gaiken, and The Town That Dreaded Sundown. Well, that's your weekly shout out for May 21st, 2013. Join us again next week when we take an opportunity to answer some of your most burning questions. We'll also give you another look at our DVDs and Blu-rays, including one of my favorite animated series, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Until then, you can find us on Twitter, at Shout Factory. You can also find us on our ShoutFactory.com forums, and of course, Facebook. Don't forget, the month of May, we've got an amazing contest going on. We want to see your collections. 
DVDs, Blu-rays, CDs, belly button lint, it doesn't matter. If you have a collection, we want to see it. You can find us on ShopFactory.com and on Facebook for more details. Until next week, have a good one.